The article penned by Zach Whitaker features a Minneapolis resident who says he was contacted by Google saying that his account information was subject to a search warrant. The search warrant obtained by Whitaker shows a police officer is asking Google for location history data from devices that reported a location within the geographical region bound by coordinates, dates and times, also known as a geofence warrant. A geofence warrant allows law enforcement to receive with the judge's approval, cell phone information, including a unique cell phone identifier. So basically what this means is law enforcement can request from service providers a list of all cell phones within a certain uh, location area. Mark Lanterman, Chief Technology Officer of Computer Forensic Services, says the tool is completely legal and available for law enforcement to use. This is information that's being collected on all of us because we have certain applications installed on our phone. And then again, these warrants are ordering these service providers to turn over our information whether we've done anything wrong or not. How much teeth does a company like Google have to kind of stand its ground and say, no, we are not sharing that information with you? I think that these are issues for the courts to address. Um, I know that when an organization like Google receives a court order, they will comply. While a discussion is ongoing, including with the ACLU on whether geofence warrants are unconstitutional because it could also capture location data of those who may have not been involved with any criminal activity, Lanterman says as consumers, we're always in a trade off. This is a, a tool that is being used and will continue to be used by law enforcement. And I just don't think that we should be so surprised that Google is turning over our personal information when we've given them permission to do that. We need to just remember, and, and this is an important thing to understand, is when we gain a benefit from technology, we give up a little bit of security. So ultimately, the bottom line is that the responsibility is on you. If you are not comfortable with the fact that Google is storing your location history data, then you can simply delete the app or you can use an alternative like Apple Maps. Apple tells us that they don't retain user history location data at all, so that's an option for you. Or you could completely go back in time and use something like MapQuest and print out directions before you go anywhere. Jana? She caught me printing MapQuest. Thank you, Sharon. And she also asked the Minneapolis Police Department about the specific warrant mentioned in that TechCrunch article that talked about people being in certain neighborhoods during the unrest after George Floyd was killed, but the Minneapolis Police Department did not get back to Sharon. Lanterman says the technology and approach, if you've heard of it or you think you have, you have. It was used after the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol last month. That's how they were able to charge hundreds of people in that incident.